Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube video channel again. I'm going to do another Zoom presentation and I want to share the slide so we can get started. So let's share the screenshot right now. All right. So here we go. I want to go ahead and do this quick uh, presentation right now. Everyone see this? Uh, this is the case, it's called um, How to Manage Adult Anterior H2H -H or Minor Crossbite. So the patient came to my office with this type of smile. All right, and you can see that because of the crowd and teeth on uh, anterior crossbite on A and I, and lingually tilted uh, on the, uh, number seven and 10, and because of his lower teeth crowded, um, the unalignment of the teeth gave him the ability of lack of confidence when he smile, and that's therefore the lips seem to be uh, uneven when he smile. So here's another view, and he smile, it doesn't show everything except hiding the canine and on same thing on this side it's high everything and you got anterior open by on left side there same thing on the right side and this is close look you can see that the uh, on the right side seem to be on the right track there but right here uh, number seven is lingually tilt Number eight and nice, really edge to edge, causing really severe, it's starting to have a crying problem and then uh, um, the wear and tear of the enamel on A and I. So this, he came around when he was about 26 years old. So let's see. <clears throat> so this is the, I want to go back a little bit. I want to show you, um, sorry about that. All right, so you can see that the uh, upper arch here is crowded, lower arch is so crowded, and the premolar on number 29 is lingually tilted, and it pretty much they not perfectly align. Considering his age, we don't have to be doing any kind of extraction. We're trying to minimize the process and get the, the faster result with a, with a um, stable outcome. What would you do? General dentists usually they tend to um, talk about, um, you know, crown, veneer, but uh, if you know how to do Invisalign or or braces, you can get this case stable. So you can see this year when we, we did, where we start braces, okay? So we start braces, look at the, just a couple, a few months, you can see the bite look better. Look at the, how, how we were to move the lateral out from both two, and we slowly able to uh, disclose the seven and eight, I mean, A and I from, uh, from really crying his, uh, his teeth away from S to S. So we did some elastic. So him how to use it to pull the teeth down, take several efforts, several time to come back and forth, to continue a lie. The, the idea is to make the bottom tooth a, a slightly smaller than the upper arch, that's where we can have the um, class one or uh, slightly over by over jet, that would be ideal. Very quiet patient to wear elastic. So here is the progress making. You can see the service number seven and 10 is completely out compared to previously it's lingually tilted. And you can see that with night tie wires, um, the teeth align, show align itself very quickly. Um, 
is a picture that we took as we go along. Patient came back after several months in on treatment improvement. You can see the comparison between before and this is after. This is before canine and lingually tilted seven and a. And look at how straight the upper tube now. Okay, bottom tube from tilted linger number 29 and also tilted on number 26, 24, but now it's straight, everything's straight uh, from bicuspid to molar, beautiful arch. This is before space right here, space right here, and look at that, how much improvement we have. This is before and this is after. Look at the ability we can uh, correct the canine uh, eruption right here, move them straight, and patient was happy. So this is before and this is after, before, after, before, after. Um, this is the final. You can see that significant improvement in terms of the bite. Patient was happy. This is from here to here, from here to here from where crowded crooked to straight and from here to here. This is from here to here. Look at that. The result is amazingly different. Thank you for watching. If you have a question, feel free to let me know. Uh, and I'll feel um, would be more than happy to answer some of your questions. I am uh, sorry for the, my screen, I test out this uh, screen artificial effect. So um, some of them didn't turn out good. But anyway, this is just a simple case, but you got the idea. Any question, let me know guys. Make comment, I will talk to you later. Thank you for watching and subscribe the channel.